What's going on everyone? Welcome to a video. This is a strange one because I've actually got so many hours in this game. It's ridiculous. I've got over a thousand hours uh, just in CSGO and I'm on my alternative account here um, so I can show you the graphics settings I've got um, because I've got loads of different things on my other account that like interfere with the game. So I don't want to show you that. I want to show you what you guys will see if you come onto the game. But welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to do the best graphics settings for Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive. Uh, we've got the Shattered Web Operations as well DLC on at the moment. So it's very popular at the moment. This game has got over a million players on right this second. A million people playing CSGO. And not going to lie, CSGO is an amazing game and I do love it. And I've not done a settings video for this. So I thought I'll get the settings video on for you guys and hopefully you guys like the settings that I'll be giving you. Um, these do increase frame rate, so if you look in the bottom of my screen around here, I don't know if you can see that, I'm running at about 400 frames at the moment, which is quite a lot. I have got a 240 hertz monitor as well uh, in 1080p resolution, so that might um, put into factor as well. I'll show you some clips at the end of this video as well of what um, my game looks like while running it. I'll go into a private match and I'll just show you some clips. And also, if you guys are new here, please smash that subscribe button and that like button. If you want to see CSGO, please comment down below low um i'd like to do some csgo It'd be interesting to do uh so if you guys are new here and you want to see csgo please comment and tell me you want to see it and i'll do a csgo video and if that if that gets good recognition then i'll do more csgo videos simple as it is so we're gonna get straight into these um settings so first of all uh, when you're playing guys make sure you're uh, display mode is in full screen. I've got my full screen window just so I can record this video. Uh, then your aspect ratio is going to be 19, 20, or 1080, or whatever you've got. Wide screen, 16 by 9. Basically, this is just all basic stuff. If you've got a laptop, you want laptop saving, uh, power saving mode on. Um, and then this is the main things here. So now we're going into advanced video. You want global, shadow quality, and high. You want model texture, detail, and high. Effect detail, high shader detail on very high uh, multi-core rendering i have mine on uh, enabled uh, multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode i have mine at eight times um, msaa uh, you guys can go down on this but i do recommend just keeping it like this keep all the settings that i've got um, except from one i'm going to tell you in a second you want FXAA anti-aliasing enabled and this is the one you want to change texture filtering mode now depending on the computer you've got at the moment I'm running a 1080 Ti with an i7 820X um, processor so my computer is kind of powerful I've got about 12 cores uh, CPU so you guys if you haven't got if you've got like an i7 or an i5 uh, or an i7 700k or something like that um, then turn this down to 8 uh, and anastropic eight if not and you can run a game pretty well and you want to get above 144 frames and turn this um obviously down if you have a computer that can handle it then turn it up um, and wait for vertical sync i've mine disabled it causes weird laggy buffers in mine motion blur obviously you have that disabled how many times that people have to tell you if you're an fps game you do not want motion blur simple as it is if you guys are new to um csgo then i recommend these settings highly i know there's a lot of people out there who've been playing csgo for years so it's kind of uh old for them and they have their own preset settings there's also you can go into the console as well and you can put on your fps max type in fpx max zero that sets your frame rate to unlimited or if you've got a um a refresh rate monitor and you want to set it at 144 i click 144 and you can see down here it's now hovering around 119 but i have a 240 hertz monitor so i'll go to do 240 hertz and this will then jump up to 240 hertz um, it hasn't done it for some reason but i'm just going to put my fps max on zero it puts it straight back up to 300 hertz so that's one thing you want to do also guys if you are new as well the console is uh, to get into the console if you haven't already got this is the button underneath your escape button don't know what it's actually called but it is that one under there but you do have to enable it so if it doesn't work um now i can't remember where this is i think it's in game and it's under console 
Um, but you have to enable uh, that button to be able to access it. And let's see if we can find it here. I'll just quickly scroll through it. I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. It's something saying about console um, and you've just got to press enable and it is, it is that simple. Um, looks like I can't find it here guys so oh there it is right at the top and now in game enable developer console you want to toggle yes and then when you click that button it'll come up with this you change sensitivity you can change all in-game things here so that's a little hint you guys can do and also if you guys would want my uh, presets my key bindings anything like that feel free to comment down below I'll be happily link you my file for all my key bindings uh, that's including my cur course my cur crosshair crosshair including my crosshair and other things like that anyway guys I'm going to show you some clips now of me just running around in dust or cash or whatever uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video please subscribe like and comment and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys, and uh, enjoy these next clips.